three, now, because I got that first one out of the way. <laughs> uh, this next song, uh, ladies and gentlemen, is uh, off the album as well. I've got a brand new album called The Heart of Australia. And um, as I said, it's a, uh, I've probably written about four, four or five on the album, and then uh, there's, a, there's a lot of songs on there, all the, all the rest of the songs are, uh, are covers that I've been asked to do over the last 12 months. And it's, and it's really great when you can go and, and, and sing some live songs, some of those really old songs. And, uh, you know, you, and I had an album there, and the first thing people would do is come up and say, have you got this song on that album? Or, and I didn't have it on there, so uh, they couldn't buy anything, but I, I made sure that I put some of those old songs on this album. This is on the album and it's a, uh, it's a fun old song to sing and um, I'll tell you about the affiliation that uh, my family had with old the late Gordon Parsons but uh, he wrote this one and I enjoy singing it and I hope you enjoy listening to it. It goes something like this. If you've got the time mate, a story I will tell how I made a fortune in a country town hotel the pub was quite a nice place and it served a lovely brew And though you won't believe me, what I'm telling you is true I'd had my second schooner and you wouldn't want to know Staggering down the counter came a big black drunken crow He drained out every beer glass and he stopped in front of me Stuck his beak in my glass as cheeky as could be well, that crow then started swearing and quite clearly I recall I've heard some bully drivers but this crow could beat them all Well that crow is paralytic, said an old man from his stool In fact that crow is fuller than a government state school Well the crow came staggering back and his eyes looked into mine He said, put up your money That godforsaken crow. I turned to meet the barman and walked the line. Will spare me days. Can you tell me what he means? Mick replied, Mick, just what he says. He means he'll walk the chalk line if you draw one on the bar. I answered, he might try it, but he won't get very far. Well, that crow became abusive and shouted out, Mick! And over to the counter came a well-dressed racing man He looked just like a putter, fancy hat and well-cut suit He said, I'll back the crow, mate, though he's fuller than a boot Well, I bet McCann a hundred dollars and he lined up the crow the crow yelled, Billy Billy, and McCann then let him go. He got off to a good start and was really going well. And then he got the staggers once or twice, he nearly fell. McCann yelled, come on Joseph, you black mongrel, don't you stop. Well the crow stood on one leg now, any moment he would flop. Hey, watch your feet, cried Billy, but Paul Joseph couldn't hear. He drained out every big glass, he'd sucked up too much beer. Well, he's going, 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 he's done for cried or bright. And suddenly the crow fell across that fatal line. McCann had done his money and the crow began to howl. I just couldn't do it, Billy. I'm as drunk as a bloody 